Mm-hmm. It's very sweet already, this one right here. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, we add my property and this is my jujube tree. If have enough water, very crunchy and really good. My water well is uh, it's dry. Uh, my water well was dry. So we have no water and we just uh, water uh, like once a week. And then the jujube fruit it's really dry and like burning and uh, the little one is falling the flower is uh, also falling out too because there's no water they need water we're currently on the vu uh, jujube farm and it's actually a 20 acre farm that grows diversified crops. The jujube trees are about 23 years old. Um, they bought the property from um, a relative within the last two years and so they know that the pump and well have been good for about three decades and so they were very confident in buying the property but as of June they noticed their water supply was smaller. Like there was less water, they were watering for longer and then in July it stopped coming because what we've been working on in between right for the last month is trying to get a hold of a pump company who one has the time to get out here but two who can assess the quality of their pump and their well. So right now on the VU farm our first priority is doing diagnostic work on her well and then once she has some access to water understanding where her pump is set once all of that is done we're looking at long-term funding um, for a sweet project here. So Cooperative Extension has been with Yang and the VU family like every step of the way like talking about what do we see what are you seeing what does that mean as you talk to the pump companies and they send you like quotes and estimates what parts are necessary and what parts are optional also what are your options for financing is there cust funding available is there long-term cdfa like sweep funding available how do we kind of get you to a point where you're you both have water on your farm and everything is efficient. Um, but I think more recently, the emphasis in the middle of the summer has been emergency drought support because of um, the fact that growers just run out of water in the middle of their season and they don't have any understanding of why or like why this just happens now when it seemed to be going okay or it's been okay for the last few years. That funding simply existing and being accessible to growers through technical assistance providers to the network has been really important. It means that folks who um, who would hesitate to do the work because they're not sure if they can financially pay for even just like a base amount, they're, they're more comfortable going ahead, they're less stressed. A lot of these programs and grants will <clears throat> help farmers, especially with healthy soils and sweep, it'll help them take care of the land and help them have access to ir irrigation that is efficient and help them save money and produce better crops. Uh, we also helped with finding resources to um, get them to connect it to other other buyers or other avenues to sell uh, to, uh, to sell. So um, for example, uh, we are uh, doing a uh, we work with another with, with another CDFA program, uh, farm to school and try to uh, get those farmers into there so, so that because the ones that don't have farmers market they can potentially sell it to local locally uh, have local buyers for it as well the most thing i'm happiest about about um with these programs and helping them is is knowing that it's going directly to farmers cdfa is now accepting applications for the 2022 drought relief direct farmer grants for a list of organizations providing drought relief grants visit cdfa.ca.gov forward slash CUSP or CUSP.